Have you ever noticed an Android application or game that has an update waiting for you? And then when you look at the change log, you notice that there are some new restrictions that have been added. Or maybe you have something installed on your device that is no longer available via the Google Play Store, and you want to share that with a friend or family member. Today, I want to show you how we can extract the APK file of an Android application or game so that you can save it for later, install it on another device you own, or send it to somebody that you know. There are a number of free third-party apps in the Google Play Store that can do this for us, but today I'll be showing you how this is done using Google's File Manager. Now, depending on which device you own, you likely won't have this application pre-installed, so we need to find it in the Play Store. You can do that by opening up the app and searching for the Files by Google application, and it should show up. But I'll also be linking to this app page in the video description below for anyone who wants a direct link to it. Once the application has been installed, let's go ahead and open it up and you will need to grant it access to your storage. So we're going to tap on allow, find the files by Google app in this list, and then enable it via that toggle. With this app, Google does a good job of categorizing the files that we have on the device, even the applications and games that are installed here. So let's tap on the one labeled apps and then look through this list. It should show you all of the applications and games that are installed. So you can find the APK file that you want to extract. In today's example, we're going to be extracting the APK file for the Chefy Chef game. But you can also go through the tabs up here at the top to find all of your system apps and all of your app install files that you have actually downloaded to your internal storage. But we're going to be looking in the installed apps tab to find APK files for apps that are already installed on the device. Once you find what you're looking for, we're going to tap on the three dot menu icon. And then we're going to select the share option. This will bring up Android's share menu where we can pick how we want to send this file. If you wanted to, you could choose Google Drive and the files by Google application would then upload the APK file to your Drive account. Or we could select Gmail or whatever email app you use and then send that APK file to someone that way. There are many file manager applications that allow you to share something with that app. So we could select, for example, Solid Explorer to send that APK file to your local storage from that file manager. Then the APK file will be saved in that folder. If you extract an application or game to your device in this way, that means the APK file is stored on your local device. And you could even use the Files by Google application to share it with someone next to you 
without ever needing access to the internet. I would like to see Google add a save option to this menu here so that we don't have to use Android's share menu when we extract the APK file. But this app does make it really easy to find that APK file and send it somewhere. The only thing I really need to point out here is that Android applications and games can be released with specific hardware in mind. So if you have a newer phone or tablet and try to install the APK file on an older device, then you could get an error because the APK file you extracted was made for newer hardware. I don't want to get into the differences between ARM V8 and ARM V7 CPUs, but this is something that you may run into if you have devices from before 2011. The good news is that you will not ruin a smartphone or tablet by trying to install an incompatible APK file. Instead, Android will just display an error message if you end up having trouble installing it. Now, as mentioned, there are a number of third-party apps that can extract an APK file of an app or game you have installed on your Android device. So if there is an application that you like which does this job for you, then share it with the community down in the comments section below.